project is sponsored by Altium Designer, which is one of the best PCB design software in the world. By using the software you can make circuit diagrams very easily. Also you can design your own professional PCBs. Altium is now included with Altium 365 in one license. With Altium 365 you can share your designs on the web and get feedback to your designs. Visit Octopart.com as the best electronic component site. Octopart gives you the most affordable data by specifications, data sheets, CAD models, etc. Hello, a VUMeter, also known as Volume Unit Meter, is a device used to display the audio signal level in real time. This time I'll describe how to make such a device that uses a vacuum tube tubes instead of analog instruments. In some of my previous videos you can see several types of such device with different ways of displaying signals. This time 26E2 type vacuum tubes are used for this purpose which can be obtained at a very low price of about few dollars. These tubes are direct replacement for the higher quality but also more expensive EM84. Uh, the device is relatively simple to make and consists of several components. Two pieces 6E2 Magic Eye Vacuum Tubes, DC-DC Boost Power Supply Module, 12 to 250 volts and PN signal transistors in my case BC547 two pieces 1N4001 diodes 39 volts Zener diode a 100 kilo ohm stereo potentiometer and some, and some passive elements resistors and capacitors in devices made with vacuum tube Tubes, uh, the part with the power supply is always problematic because nowadays it is difficult to obtain and has a high price. I slowed, I slowed this with an inexpensive DC-DC power supply where with an input of 12 volts at the output we can continuously change the voltage from 40 to 400 volts with this small multi-turn potentiometer. Also the 12 volt input is used to heat the tubes so the heaters are connected in series. The, tri the driving part consists uh, of preamplifier with one transistor and envelope follower with two diodes so the process signal is bought to the grid of the tube. A trim potentiometer is used to control the anode voltage. Uh, now let's see how the device works in real conditions. After turning on the device, some time should pass for the cathodes to heat up. Let me tell you that thanks to the input amplifier, the VUMeter is very sensitive and reacts to the weakest signal. In practice, it is best to connect uh, between the preamplifier and the output amplifier so that the output volume will not affect the operation of the VUMeter.
And finally a short conclusion. Building this Vometer is a real pleasure considering that we are building a retro vacuum tube device with modern elements. I'm talking primarily about the power supply that are easily available uh, in today's market. Uh, on the other hand, the final effect is surprisingly good. The Vometer is very sensitive, has great dynamics and the response time is momentary. Also the intensity of the light emitted by these tubes is satisfactory. This Vometer would be a great visual addition to a tube amplifier. However, I made it as a standalone device and installed in a suitable box made of PVC material and lined with co uh, colored felt adhesive wallpaper. And at the end safety note, uh, please do not attempt to recreate this experiment shown uh, unless you are familiar with high voltage safety techniques. Direct current even above 60 volts may be lethal even when the AC supply voltage has been disconnected due to the stored energy in the capacitors. I have no responsibility or on any hazards caused by this circuit. Be very careful. This is a humble request.